Every November 16, the Catholic Church celebrates a distinguished medieval nun and writer in the Benedictine monastic tradition, St. Gertrude of Helfta, more popularly known as, St. Gertrude the Great. Little is known of the early life of Gertrude who was born on the Feast of the Epiphany, January 6, 1256, in Eilben, Thuringia. At age four, she entered the monastery school at St. Mary at Helfta. In 1266, Gertrude joined the monastic community where she received a thorough education in a range of subjects. Her writing demonstrated that she was well versed in rhetoric and her Latin is very fluent. In 1281, she experienced the first of a series of visions that continued for the rest of her days, and which changed the course of her life. Her priorities shifted away from secular knowledge and toward the study of scripture and theology. Gertrude devoted herself strongly to personal prayer and meditation and began writing spiritual treatises for the benefit of her fellow nuns. Gertrude became one of the great mystics of the 13th century. Together with her friend and teacher Mechtilda, she practiced a spirituality called, nuptial mysticism, that is, she came to see herself as the bride of Christ. Gertrude is said to have produced numerous writings, however, only some survive today, including the Legatus Memorialis Abundantiae Divini Pitatis, the Herald of Divine Love, her collection of spiritual exercises, the compilation work known as Precis Gertrudianae, Gertrudian Prayers, and attributed as the author of a part of the Revelations of Mechfield of Hackborn, the Book of Special Grace. Gertrude was a notable early devotee of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Book 2 of the Herald of Divine Love tells vivid descriptions of Gertrude's visions showing a considerable elaboration on the long-standing but ill-defined veneration of Christ's heart. This veneration was present in the belief that Christ's heart poured forth a redemptive fountain through the wound in his side, an image culminating in its most famous articulation by Bernard of Clairvaux in his commentary on the Song of Songs. Gertrude reported a vision on the Feast of John the Evangelist. She was resting her head near the wound in Christ's side and hearing the beating of his heart. She asked John if, on the night of the Last Supper, he had felt these pulsations, why he had never spoken of the fact. John replied that this revelation had been reserved for subsequent ages when the world, having grown cold, would need it to rekindle its love. According to one of her biographers, Gasparo Antonio Campaccio, who produced, Discorso Chronologico, the exact date of Gertrude's death was November 17, 1334, at Helfta near Eilben, Saxony. Gertrude was never solemnly canonized, but a liturgical office of prayer, readings, and hymns in her honor was approved by Rome in 1606, considered the equivalent of a canonization. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.